Magic 92.5 and Jagger and Christy present Hometown Heroes. It's time for another Hometown Hero, and this morning we have Chris on the phone. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. Hi, Chris. We got your nomination Hi. for Christina for Hometown Heroes. Now, who is Christina to you? She is my girlfriend. She became part of the PGA at the kids' school. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to get your girlfriend on the line, and then we'll have you read your nomination. That be okay? Yeah, that's great. All right. Hang on. Let's get her on here. Hello? Hi, is this Christina? Hi, yes. Christina, it's Jagger and Christy calling this morning. How are you? Hi. (laughs) (laughs) Well, okay, so I'm sure you're wondering why we're calling. Well, I'll tell you, we do a thing called Hometown Heroes. And um, we got a nomination from your boyfriend, Chris, for you for Hometown Heroes. Would it be okay if you went ahead and read the nomination? Yeah. All right, go ahead, Chris. My girlfriend, Christina, works hard for the community. She was recruited to the PTA after her children's school was shut down and the students were relocated. The woman who recruited her ran the PTA at the previous school since 1992, and Christina was happy that she could be a part of a new team. Christina, along with the head of the PTA, spent all of their time assisting the teachers, students, and families of the school, as well as helping the school staff because they were stretched pretty thin. They worked countless hours daily to ensure that each child has the best experience at our school as well as the same opportunity as each other. They provide all the materials each child needs so that the parents do not have to worry about not being able to. Our school is an extremely low income area, so school supplies are often a financial burden on our families. Thank you for your time and all the work you do for the community. Well, how about that, Christina? So tell me about cool. s- tell me about school. How's everything going these days? Um, it's still very different. Only half of our kids returned. Um, half are still virtual, and we've seen a big change in the way when the kids come back. They're just so excited, and they're just trying to get back to normal, and we're just trying to do as much as we can to kind of get them back to normal. I know sure. like, my kids have services at the school, and... It's just, it, it's still different. It's still a shock that we're still adjusting, but we're just trying to do our best right. to, you know, help. I, it, it's almost like two schools now. It's like school at, at school and school at home. Oh, my goodness. So, what yeah. is, so then what is your biggest challenge with the kids that are at school and the kids that are virtual? Um, the biggest challenge with the kids that are at school is they're still trying to find that middle ground. Like, they don't understand how come everything's changed. Why can't I play closely with my friends? How uh-huh. come, you know, we have to do this different for lunch like why can't I just sit down next to my friend and eat my lunch or you know oh why can't I touch this pencil because somebody else did like they don't understand why and it's just like they kind of take it personal and it's just like Aww. it's hard watching them and then there's the kids that are virtual who can't understand like oh why can't I see my friends and yeah. you know mm-hmm. why can't we do field trips and this and that or banquets and stuff that we used to do all the time right. and they now feel left out and it's just like so why why it- and I see my friends. It sounds like there's a lot of emotional support that has to go on right, on the return oh, as well. A lot. A lot of it. Uh, it it's just, it, it's, it's crazy. I never realized exactly how much emotional support we have to give to our kids, I think, until COVID-19 hit and then seeing it on campus every day. Well, you know, again, Christina, you bring up a great point, and I didn't even think about this. The kids, they don't understand. No. They, don't, they don't get what's going on. They just know it's different, right? Yeah. Well, listen, in a, in a perfect world, being the PTA president is a hard job and doing it under these circumstances <laughs> is a very makes, very hard that job make, that makes you our hometown hero and yes. of course we have some hometown uh, sponsors that want to help out today yeah we, oh we do our friends at jensen meat where great taste meets integrity want to give you the blended combo pack this is really awesome it includes 12 jensen angus beef mushroom burgers and the beef chuck brisket and then our sponsors baron's market wants to give you a 100 dollars gift card so you can go shop at baron's market Oh my God, that's awesome. Well, you're very welcome. And Chris, by the way, you get a smiley face for being a <laughs> boyfriend of the month. Okay? Yes. <laughs> All right, sounds good. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it's, wonderf- it for him. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful to talk to you guys. Chris, thank you for the nomination. And Christina, thank you for everything you do. Hang in there and stay strong. Oh, thank you guys. All right, you're welcome. Christina, you are our hometown hero. Yay! Jagger and Christie's Hometown Heroes at magic925.com.